In today's session, we will be discussing experiment number three, that is to verify the law of poly polygon of forces. The main aim of this experiment is to validate the law for a given coplanar concurrent force system. So uh, here we are talking about a combination of two different systems, that is a concurrent force system and a coplanar force system. If you look at all these forces, they are all acting in the same direction except for the resultant. Resultant is acting in the different opposite direction because over here we are actually implementing the head to tail rule. Now what this law states, it says that if a number of coplanar concurrent forces is represented in magnitude and direction by the sides of a polygon taken in order, then the resultant will be represented in magnitude and direction by the closing side of the polygon but in the opposite order. Also there are two scenarios. It says that if forces form a closed polygon, a closed polygon, then the system is in equilibrium. In the first case, you can see the polygon is closed, which means the system is achieving its equilibrium state. Now, for the second figure, it says that there is a system of five forces, F1, F2, 3, 4, and 5. The forces are forming, are not forming a closed polygon, obviously. There is an empty uh, hoop over here. This empty space is telling you about the closing error. There is a space present. That space is giving you the value of the resultant of the complete force system. So in this scenario, it uh, clearly tells us that the system is not achieving the equilibrium state. That's why the polygon is not closed. Okay, this is case number one. Case number one says that if the coplanar concurrent force system is in equilibrium, then what will be the scenario? This is the diagram of the scaled force system, right? And it's also telling you about the point of concurrency, the common point from which all the forces are passing, F1, F2, F3, 4, and 5. These are the five forces which are passing through one common point. Now, from this scaled force diagram, a polygon is to be formed. In this case, the polygon is closed, right? F5 and F1, both are coinciding at point. And there is no open space, which means the system is stable. So in this case, when the system is stable, it means the resultant is zero. It's equal to zero. In case number two, we go for a non-equilibrium system. When polygon is constructed from a non-equilibrium system, it will never be closed. In this case, F1 and F5 are not coinciding. And you can see this is the space. So this is representing the value of the resultant is in simple terms also called the error. Now when you see an error, you should know that the system is not in the state of equilibrium and the resultant will never be equal to zero. It will give you some value. So this is the basic aim of this experiment. We'll find out that value that what the value actually is. This is the experimental setup. You will need a force board or a Gravesend apparatus like in the previous experiment. Uh, two pairs of pulleys. In this case, you will be needing four pulleys mounted on the force board. In the previous case, we considered only two pulleys, if you remember. You will be also needing weights, uh, cords or springs and a piece of drawing sheet. These are uh, the steps and some precautions. I'll read out the steps quickly. You can read them afterwards when the lecture session is completed. 
you have to set up the apparatus provided after measuring and recording the weights of the pans. Then you have to put different weights on the pans and let the system come to rest. And then you have to note down their values, either in pounds or kgs. It's up to you if you want to convert it into kgs. Make sure the values of pounds are converted to kgs. Number three says, now fix a sheet of paper on the drawing board and mark the central point. What's the central point? It's the main point where all the strings meet and the directions of the string with a pencil. So what you have to do, you have to fix a drawing sheet on the board and then using the pencil you have to trace and mark all the strings set up on the pulleys. Then you have to remove the sheet from the drawing board and draw the lines of actions of forces. You have to draw the force polygon by representing these designations W1, W2, W3, W4 and W5. The polygon may not be used. The error which is not used in distance of the polygon is due to the error in the experimentation and the friction in various moving parts. So the error basically arises because of friction present in the apparatus and the friction is very common in the pulleys. So that's why the error comes. You have to repeat this procedure three times, three to four times and complete the experiment. These are the precautions you have to take care of. You should make sure that the apparatus is clean. The thread must be smooth without any knots and the ring should be carefully centralized. This is how the final setup will look like. These are the cords attached. And after you set up the cords, you have to attach weights to the weight pans. Once the system comes to rest, you have to make sure all weights are measured properly. Then a white sheet of paper is being thumbed with thumb pins on the force board and traces of these cords are obtained on the sheet using a pencil. You have to use a pencil and mark these cords on the sheet of paper. After you mark the points and draw the traces on a page, this is how the space diagram would look like. You'll get five values and five lines which are representing all the weights. This is the data which I got from the uh, first reading. Then the data is scaled in the second step and from the space diagram, the force diagram is obtained by means of set squares. After the scaled force diagram is complete, what you have to do? You have to rearrange all the forces in the form of a polygon. From the scaled force diagram, keeping the magnitude and direction of the forces same, you have to obtain a polygon. In case the polygon does not close, it means there is an error in the apparatus due to friction in some parts of the pulleys, as I mentioned earlier. Now let's see what happens in this case. The polygon does not close. If you observe here, W1 and W5 are not coinciding, which means there is a slight error. What you have to do next? You have to measure this error using a ruler and you have to write its value. This will give you the resultant. So this means that in this case, the system is not achieving 100% equilibrium and there is a slight error because the polygon is not closed. This slice, slice, slight error is basically giving you the value of resultant. In this case, your resultant is not equal to zero. It will give you some value. So you should note down that value 
and that will give you the value for the first reading. Tabulate the values in the end. The polygon may not be closed. The error unclosed distance of the polygon is due to the error in experimentation in the friction in the apparatus. You can see the close up of this polygon. The polygon is not closed. It means it's giving error. This is your final result.